Hello, my gorgeous Pisces Collective. I'm Rose Warrior One. Here with a message for you today. Holy Spirit, guide me for the Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, any placement here. We're going to go ahead and hone into the vibrations in the auric field or around the auric field of Pisces here, my beautiful Pisces. Collective Spirit, what do you have here for us? Ashe. And so we may begin this reading. I hope y'all are doing well. We're going to get right to it today. And then we will get some clarifiers slash solutions or directions here. If you're seeking a direction from Holy Spirit, we're going to grab it from the angelic realm here. And I'll be using my oracle at the end of this read for that. Okay. So what I'm getting here is Pisces. Something came to light. Information that could have come from a Leo, a Taurus, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius. You could have these energies or this fixed energy within your chart, or there could have been a very significant friend, a very significant person or being in your realm or reality here that gave you vital information for you to be able to unlock truth. And this truth could have been very shifting for you either in your career or your personal relationships, for sure. The top of the deck energy is King of Swords. This is where we're going to start here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What I am seeing is you are definitely in an analytical state of being at this time. Your mind has completely went through a rebirth already. So you are now operating from a new state of awareness, a new state of consciousness. You went through a massive transformation. You are now embodying this frequency. Capricorn, I just did a reading for. It's almost as if Capricorn's reaching that frequency, but you've already been in it. This is what I'm getting here. You, you led with your heart for so long that now you've matched the mental power and prowess, meaning the ability that you have mentally. You match that with your heart's desires and your ability to create your dreams and anchor them into the this 3d realm here you've now created a super powerful weapon of awareness and truth for yourself that's what this huge sword is here for you could also be seeing a lot of butterflies or moons you could be an aquarius or a libra moon here but you don't have to be you could also be i'm getting a leo or sagittarius moon for some of you but you don't have to be pisces what i am getting here is there is some sort of serious connection between you and another person because i have an empress and an emperor i'm getting two messages here something uncovered in your reality that led you to find this aries energy and emperor or this libra and taurus vibration here in the empress you could be either the emperor or the empress but you definitely are embodying one of these people at this time and you're both going on a journey of unraveling a very specific contract here is what I'm getting. There was a very specific contract that was finally ignited or, or there's some sort of, I'm just seeing a, a flame light up for someone. This could have been a brand new contract that you walked into. Some of you are meeting your soulmate. Some of you are meeting your match. Some of you are meeting someone who literally matches you on vibrational levels here you're going to be creating something beautiful with this person but it's only if you choose to accept whatever's coming into your reality at this time for some of you the second message that i'm getting here is there is a divine feminine and masculine energy within you specifically if you're not worried about any love life or any type of other person this is also the vibration of knowledge of divine masculine and feminine energy within you bringing forth a certain sense of awareness it's just something about awareness is what i'm getting here becoming aware the wheel of fortune is also telling me that something shifted in your favor seven of pentacles to clarify the will of fortune, Taurus energy here. There's something about you waiting a very long time for this shift. You felt it. 
the shift has finally reached you. What is the Emperor Spirit? Wow, the Magician. Gemini energy here as well as Virgo. Whoever I'm speaking to during this season, you may have been crowned. Mm-hmm. You may have been crowned as the Emperor, the Empress officially in the spiritual realm. Pisces, you definitely waited for this switch, but you worked. You used all the elements to heal. And now that you've gone to this next state of awareness or consciousness within your reality, right, along with the collective, you're now able to lead in a very specific way. It's almost like God is granting you a position. Either this is going to manifest at work. This is going to manifest in some way, shape, or form financially. And we had the King of Pentacles come out to clarify that. And we have the Nine of Cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio on the bottom of the deck here. Wish fulfillment. You're creating your fulfillment here after a hard journey and a pivot switch here in your chapter. Towards the ending of a cycle that just closed here, there could have been some sort of loss that you had in the, in the material sense. Maybe you lost a job opportunity or you lost out on some sort of money here that you worked a very long and hard time or something about there was even a hard time you had collecting this money or collecting this energy that you lost out on here. But this was just a challenge to see how you would deal. Mm -hmm. Would you keep the faith and trust in God, the divine, and your guides, or would you lose it all here? But what you did was you manifested a new way. You found your way back. <laughs> and this is why you were crowned. You truly proved why you are always vibrating in a queen or a kingly energy or vibration. Because we got a king of pentacles coming out right after the magician. You are an ultimate manifester of your desires you're very 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 powerful whoever i'm talking to you're not to be played with when it comes to the spirit realm for sure you have a lot of intuitive ability as well you just know through this sense of the gut this sense of the heart and this sense of the mind it's just deeply rooted within you to have this system that lets you know especially at night which steps you should be taking moving forward in the following weeks is what I'm getting here. You are manifesting abundance or you're setting yourself and rooting yourself deeply in your beliefs at this time. With this cancer energy mixed in, this is number 18, by the way, with the moon. There could have been something significant that happened when you were age 18. You could have finally became a lot more independent around that age or some of you could have left the home between the ages of 16 and 18 and you developed this solitude this awareness this practicality about you where you make sure you receive what you need in resources and value you just have your own back is what i'm getting here definitely a king or queenly type of person that i'm talking to somebody who carries themselves with a lot of confidence because you know what you've been through, you know what you've came from, you know your story. Whoever I'm speaking to, you definitely know who you are. You're remembering who you are. The Empress Spirit. Wow. The Empress Spirit. Four of Wands here, Leo Sagittarius. It came to clarify the Empress. Like I said, whoever you're dealing with, there's celebration, there's the harvest, there's something that you've created with somebody here, whoever I'm speaking to. This could also be, like I said, platonic relationships like family. This can also be love for some of you. This can be a very deep bond that you have as well. Three of Pentacles. This is building something, building new contracts, building new businesses, building new ideas with someone else. I'm telling you, a significant other or somebody keeps coming up in your reading. Lots of couples energy. But there was a lot that you both had to go through first before you came together is what I'm getting. And this can be on any level. The Hierophant, right. Two people being blessed by a higher up spiritual leader. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You've been blessed by God here because you went through your tower moment with grace, Scorpio. Whoever I'm speaking to, Pisces, you went through a huge loss in life that created this mentality that nothing was going to ever make you feel 
like how low you felt at that time. It's almost like this get it from the mud energy. I'm getting life path four, heavy Taurus, heavy Pisces, heavy Capricorn, heavy Cancer energy here, as well as heavy Aries and Gemini. <laughs> So it's a lot of different energy showing up here. So this is a reading that deals with other people in your surroundings for sure. Because if this was just one person, then you definitely have a lot going on in your internal worlds for sure too. Exactly, Nine of Swords. This could cause a lot of anxiety because you have so much energy floating around you and within you. You're trying to balance your ideas and your thoughts at this time. I heard thoughts create new pathways, right? Truth is coming out. Clarity is coming to you. Ace of Swords, this is clarity. The best gift that you can receive is a clear way of knowing, a clear way of being guided to where to step, speak, or do. What you should do next is what I'm getting here. Nine of Swords, Ace of Swords, Spirit. For my Pisces. Remember to take this only if this resonates, Pisces. We've got seven of wands. This is nine of wands here. You definitely have carried yourself to this point. We've got 99 showing up in your reading. This is the wounded warrior vibration. This is also anxious energy. You're someone who has had to stand on your own way too many times. So you're used to guiding yourself. You're used to following your logic. You're used to trusting your intuition. And this is what's led you to abundance this new relationship or this relationship that's going through a new understanding of what love really is is what i'm getting here for some of you 99 showing up in a reading tells me that you are a humanitarian somebody very independent and confident who will create multiple forms of income when you get over fears that are deeply rooted within your mind this could have been from the past with the six of cups this is nostalgia past energy or past life energy. Some of you are healing past life anxiety. It's like your soul could still be anxious from certain things from the past in lives that you have lived before. Anything else on that spirit? Yeah, I just saw the five of wands. You definitely had a lot of conflicts that you overcame, but this does cause a lot of stress on certain days for you when you think too hard. 10 of wands, you're letting go of burdens. No more burdens. After the nine of wands, feeling wounded, feeling like you always had to stand up for yourself, you finally learn that it created strength within you. It created resilience, right? I said it created strength within you. It created resilience. Sagittarius, Leo here. You definitely could have fire prominent within your chart, Pisces. But there is something about harmonization here. Harmonizing learning how to use your inner strength, learning how to tame the more negative frequencies that flow around you and within you here. You're learning how to bear all types of spectrum of frequencies within your body. You're a vessel for God here, number 14. And this is number eight. You've created new foundations for others to be able to walk forward because you faced your own trials and tribulations with grace. Right, gratitude and friendship. It says nurture your relationships. It says nurture your relationships. This is a relationship reading or something dealing with the way you communicate to friends, family, coworkers. I'm seeing up to three people that are around you. Someone who's very confident, someone who's very, very intuitive or psychic, and someone who has a very great way of communicating. Or this can be all of the energies you embody. Remember to take only what resonates, y'all. If you do want a personal reading, all of my readings are only pre-recorded, but you can get them in a text, an email, a voice recording, or a video recording. Text my number only if you'd like to book that below, okay? Or you could donate, or at the least, just like the video so this message can reach another Pisces that's looking for this clarity. So we have sensuality. It says express yourself, express your, express your sensuality, Pisces. There is something about rainbows coming through today. Lots of rainbows, lots of rainbows. I heard taste the rainbow. So there could be something about Skittles, something about sugar, something about candy. 
sensuality. You could be definitely learning how to love the way your body is naturally designed at this time. You're learning to embrace your senses. You have very specific senses. You were born into this life already knowing how to use by nature, right? You're letting go of old ways of being. You're letting go of a certain stagnant vibration that it's felt like a brick for you at some points during the last few meditations you've had, healing sessions. You could have had Reiki sessions, tarot readings, and this brick could be coming up a lot in your readings or something about a heavy, dense energy that you've been learning to let go of here. This could have dealt with the past. Like I said, could have dealt with childhood traumas here that could have made it hard for you to enjoy your senses your body your sensual nature but you've released you've learned to release and let go so you can start feeling what love really looks like in all senses of the vibration mind body and spirit pisces collective spirit it says learn from those who inspire you exactly any leaders mentors teachers spiritual guides fitness guides health guides mental health guides you're tapping into what information is vital for your for your journey at this time and you're learning to apply i heard no more talking i'm gonna put my money where my mouth is meaning you're getting to work pisces you're really doing a great job at beginning the next steps to manifest what you know your heart came here to do. But Spirit wants you to learn from the legends, learn from the most highest vibrational people you can find or the people that really are highly knowledgeable in whatever topic, experience, or skill set you'd like to achieve in this lifetime. Seven deadly sins here showing up. It says, humanity's destructive traits. You let go of destructive traits. You could have had seven different points in your life that made you realize your dark side, that made you realize what could be holding you back. And it was you holding yourself back all along. Again, with the rainbow energy showing up here. Look at that. From sensuality here. See, you learned to trust your senses, to trust your intuition. You learned to let go. And you learned this by being inspired by those around you that were healing and showing you the way too so you've been very great at using this newfound awareness to help you i heard create a new path look seek clarity remember i said clarity is something that when it comes in it's one of the greatest gifts you had an epiphany about something recently about who you are Humanity's destructive traits. You have healed a very dense vibration within your spirit. I'm getting past life energies though for sure. Yeah, look, blaze your own trail and I just said create a new path that I just heard. Originality. Whoever I'm speaking to, Pisces, you're, you're an original. Someone very hard to duplicate, very hard to mimic, very hard to make fun of or complicate because you just have this powerful frequency that protects you. It, it almost governs your aura. It's like people feel and see this energy before they ever truly see you, unless you choose to come out of the waters is what I'm getting here. So I'm picking up on a Pisces that can create illusions when they don't really wanna be seen in a certain light. For some of you, you could have used this to your advantage when you were younger, like you could have been more of a manipulative energy when you were younger because you didn't know better, you transmuted and learned this, you learned how to let go of the old ways and teachings that were pushed onto you, and then you learn how to blaze your own trail, and you unraveled how original you really are, because you're not what was taught to you or what was programmed into you. You are who you are at core before you even came here. You're an original. An original light worker, an original is what I'm getting here. And if you're not a light worker, you're definitely an original light being. Somebody who's of the light, for sure. Anything else, Spirit, as we close out on Pisces Read today? Wow. We have Raise Your Standards, Peacock. You are someone who's very beautiful. For real. Whoever I'm picking up on today, 
You have a very beautiful, angelic presence about you. A lot of people notice how original you dress, how original you think and speak. You're being asked to raise your standards because regardless of what you've been through, it's about where you're at now. You're not what you've been through. You're not where you used to be. So Spirit wants you to raise your standards because you can meet them. You can truly meet them. And I heard, let them meet you halfway. You're already used to walking and meeting people halfway. Let them meet you. Again, with another couple vibration or something about a significant person in your life. I'm telling you, two peacocks here. And they're like hugging and caressing each other. So it's definitely an intimate bond you have with someone. Or this could even be someone from the other side who is heavily connected to you. Spirit says that's the message for today. Don't forget that you are extraordinary. Pisces, if this resonates, take it. Remember to leave what doesn't as this is for the entire collective. Support those other videos that I'm going to be posting up this week. And I'll see y'all soon. Peace.